talks between Iran and the U.S. made international headlines this week as an impending nuclear deal seems closer than ever before. But for a group of artists, the more important talks are happening between citizens of both countries. ABC's Tina Trin discovers a real-life portal bridging physical and cultural divides. In the movies, portals come in many forms, whether they're rabbit holes like in Alice in Wonderland or back door into another person's mind like in Being John Malkovich. But real life portals don't exist until now. We're at Lou Magnus Art Gallery in New York City, and this looks like an ordinary shipping container, but it's actually a portal to Tehran. We're enabling people to meet who wouldn't otherwise, who've been separated or just don't know how to make that connection. Amar Bakshi is part of an artist collective that's created portals. It's a converted shipping container that allows viewers to enter one at a time to speak for 15 minutes in real time with a citizen in Tehran. You don't know who you're speaking to, they don't know you, and you have to sort of start from scratch. Over in Tehran, the setup is the same. I decided to try it out for myself, meeting Bakshi's collaborator, Sorab Kashani, who's located there. Hi. Hi. So we just walked inside this portal. It's a uh, wall-to-ceiling carpet all around for the noise cancellation, I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I think the noise is important. Uh, when, le when working with lower bandwidth, uh, we want to focus transmission and everything on the face, so we, uh, we light it that way. Inside the portal, a camera captures and projects a life-size image of each party giving the feeling of an in-person conversation. It is sort of cozy, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I think at least, and people, you know, I've slept in here. Have you really? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not on purpose, but I've fallen asleep in here. Uh, and, and people do kind of come out feeling like it was a warm, I mean, it is literally warm right now, but also a warm space in right. the, more of the symbolic sense. You, you actually almost forget where the person is that you're speaking to. And that seems to be the point, to show that perhaps Americans and Iranians have much in common, despite the distance. I've never been to Iran, and the girl I was paired up with studies photojournalism, just like me. I made a friend today, so that's amazing. In the end, the best portal for experiencing Iran might just be an open mind. Tina Trin, ABC News, New York. And the next phase is that they want to open up portals to Haiti, Mexico, and New Delhi. So it could be like a bridge to other countries. You think about Cuba, right? Exactly. And we just don't know much for a lot of people who might not have any sort of Cuban heritage. It could be a way to help people better understand the world. I tell okay. you, technology, isn't it incredible? But can we just use this from, you know, New York to Arkansas? Ooh, Arkansas. Yeah. You and your Arkansas. Yeah, it's my home state. Is that okay? You can, hey. you can. <laughs> can I talk to my, I never go home. Mama needs me to <laughs> get in a portal. <laughs> Mama needs you to get into a portal. <laughs> Yeah, call him up, Mama. Give him a call. <laughs> Watching, please, any time of day. <laughs>